Okay, so the blue Impala, um, I did what I said I was going to do in my uh, previous video. This is the 1965 Chevrolet Impala diecast by Welly. Uh, I picked this up at a flea market down in Georgia several months ago. And in that video that I did, um, it said that I was going to do a little detail work on it, maybe clean it up, take it apart. So, that's what I've done. As you can see, and I will show you some before and after, but I did uh, detail work on the front grille. So it looks more realistic. Now I never really showed you uh, under the hood in the other video, but I went ahead and uh, took this thing apart and did some detail work under there. Uh, air conditioner, condenser, uh, receiver dryer, uh, painted some of the lines silver. They were, they were just black before. Um, they were there, but uh, like I said, they were just black. Uh, put ignition wires on the car, so gives it a little bit more realistic look underneath the hood. I thought it turned out really well. Now, when I took the uh, the engine compartment out of the car, uh, it's really only half of an engine. It's like the top half. Uh, the bottom half of it is just missing. Uh, so I guess they did a pretty good job with this car, seeing as with it all together, it, it looks fairly realistic. But uh, for a true model builder, I mean, there's there's just a lot missing off of that. But anyway, so. If you recall, I told you about the scuff marks on the front window. On the windshield. So, I got those out. I cleaned up the interior. Hold on, I'm trying to turn it so I get good light. Um, cleaned up the interior. I uh, basically took a really fine hair paintbrush and went through there and dusted everything real nice and a moist cloth and just kind of cleaned the seats, cleaned the carpet area and everything, got all the dust and dirt out of it. The, uh, the drip rail along the roof line. You see that uh, the paint has been touched up. Uh, there on the rear quarter glass, the paint's been touched up as well. On the back of the model, the rear glass had scuff marks on it. I was able to polish those out. Got that looking real nice. And on the rear of the car, uh, uh, below the taillights, I went ahead and did the, the black SS stripe across the trim. And then finally, I just hit it with some car wax and uh, did a little bit of buffing on it. And it really, really turned out nice. So, nice paint job, got all the little blemishes out of it, all the little scratch marks out of the paint. I mean, it, it cleaned up very, very well. Now again, it is a die cast. Um, I did not build it. I've done some improvements to it, so I guess that's what kind of uh, really kind of makes me proud of it somewhat. I did not mess with the mirrors. Um, I mentioned in the previous video that uh, I really didn't like the mirrors. I still don't like the mirrors. Um, I don't have anything to replace them with right now. That might be something that I do later on. I don't know. I might decide to just leave it the way it is. But all in all, for $10.95, really sharp looking model. Um, I wanted to put maybe different wheels and tires on it. Uh, but when I went through my stash kit looking at what I had for wheels and tires I don't really have anything that will fit it. So that's just something I'll have to keep my eye open for. Um, might run across something later on. Who knows. But uh, it's, it's really easy to get these wheels and tires off of this car and uh, change them out if that's what I really want to do. So I don't know. We'll find out. But anyway, thanks for checking it out. Um, thanks for looking at my channel. Hopefully uh, you've enjoyed some of my videos. I know they're not coming quite as often as I would like, but um, I'm still going to make videos when I get the opportunity. So if you like what you see, if you enjoy my channel, if you like the subjects that I'm talking about, please hit the subscribe button. 
go ahead and give me a thumbs up if you like the video and uh, check back often and see what else is new. So until then, you guys have a great day.